What is good, everybody? Look, it's bright early in the morning. Six o'clock. Yeah, so it's really early. It's a blessed day, you know. Just woke up. I got to studying. And then I was like, oh, I, gotta, I was going to listen to the sermon. I'm like, nah, what he's saying is way too good for me not to just be playing. So fair use and get ready because this is a good sermon that we all need to hear. Alright, so this is called Bamboo by the Blessing. What to do after a blessing? Look, many of us are really close to reaching our blessing. Like, we, like myself, have been going through some things that have been separating us to get these blessings. And we thought, like, I always thought, like, you know, the people that was around you, you know, and everything that I wasn't doing was doing the correct thing. But it's just, you know, God just showed you that you know what, I gotta do some more, you know, it's switching up. So let's get into this. Listen. Have y'all ever seen your friend going into a relationship that was going to end in disaster before it even started? <laughs> oh, come on. But they can't see it? Yeah, that's true. Why? Because they distracted. That's true. Well, he loved me and he bought my nails and he did the opposite than my last boyfriend, Jerome, <laughs> and this and that and the third. And you like, I don't know, this looks like Jerome in a different Yes. But their discernment is down because their distraction is up. Hey, that's what true. I'm telling you, the reason when your discernment is down, your distraction is up. You don't know what college to go to, it's because the distraction is up and the discernment is down. The reason why Hey, this is so true. Like this is why we get so confused because we got distractions. Not just people, but things that we could be doing to or how we're acting. Why you don't know if you're supposed to put your kids in that school or that school. It's because the distraction is up and wow. the discernment is <laughs> Let's just always just look at this situation with everything in our life. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure all of us want some type of lesson or want some type of, you know, next level. Most people don't really know what they want for the next level. I know, but, um, let's go. <laughs> and this is how people get bamboozled by the blessing because they can't discern anymore. Yeah. You know, a blessing could be like, you know, somebody that came in your life. That could be a huge blessing that you can't discern anymore because you're distracted. So once you're distracted, you lose that blessing. Like, you're going to lose that car that you always wanted because now you're thinking about something else. Or you're going to lose that house that you always wanted. And you got it. And now you haven't been given God enough thanks. You're going to lose that man that you have because you have not prayed with him. You, you started losing track. Ever since you got with him, you started getting too comfortable. You're gonna lose that woman because now you started getting comfortable. You didn't involve God in it. You stopped praying. You stopped doing what you used to do to get her. That's what he's saying. I just did something and it worked. So then I go, <sighs> Woo! and that's when the enemy creeps in. It says all I needed them to do was exhale. I just needed them to get off of it for a second. I just needed them to stop fasting. I heard a man of God once say, he said, don't fast every once in a while. Live a fasted life. He wow. said, because at the moment that God does the victory, it's not a time to say, whoo, I'll do that again on 21 days of prayer and fasting <laughs> next year. That's a lot of time that my discernment is down where I'm not as keen to hear the whispers of God. This is so true. You gotta really be known because then God is like always speaking to you, like you know, always you know, and and He's not gonna say anything negative. He's always gonna give you like the positive, real truth. Sometimes we don't like to hear it, and that's when we think like it could be the devil. But that's why He's saying your distraction is up and your discernment is down. When your discernment is up and your distraction is down, then you're able to recognize everything for what it is. Which we could really go back for that with the world. Like most people don't have a high discernment, so that's why they can't see everything that's happening because you their their distraction is higher than their discernment. This was an amazing way to put this, and I only went through like damn near just two minutes. You gotta watch the whole video.